what if you have an equation that goes like this, square root of x is equal to 3, and you want to solve this equation, obviously. You want to solve it for, for the variable x. Okay. Um, as, as is true anytime you're trying to solve an equation, what you're trying to do is trying to get x by itself. So just as a, a refresher, if you have 3x plus 2 is equal to 4, what you need to do to get x by itself and solve for x is to get rid of this 2, which we do by subtracting 2 from both sides, and then after that's done, we divide um, both sides by 3. And when we do that, we will have x by itself, etc. Notice what we're doing here is we're doing, in order to get x by itself, we're doing the opposite of the uh, operation here on the board. So because this is a plus 2, in order to move it over, we just subtract 2. That's the opposite of addition and subtraction. Okay? To get rid of the 3 here, which is multiplied by the x, we do the opposite of, of uh, multiplication, which is division. Okay? So solving equations is almost entirely about knowing what the opposite thing is. The opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division, and so on and so forth. The critical thing for equations of of the type here with radicals is the opposite of a square is a square root. And the opposite of a square root is a square. So once we know that, we have everything we need to know to tackle an equation like this. So let's do that. The opposite of a square root is a square. So in order to get rid of the square root, what I need to do is what I need to do is take the square root of x and square the whole thing, the entire radical and everything. I square that. But of course, in order to make it legal, I have to do it to both sides of the equation, so I have to square that. What you will find when you do that is this square kind of cancels with this square root. Okay, So what you're left with is just x by itself, and that's equal to 3 squared which you know by now is just equal to 9. So remember, the opposite of a square root is a square. If you want to get rid of a square root, all you have to do is square um, uh, the whole thing like that. And if you can just remember that, then you'll be in good shape. Okay, let's move on and we'll do some problems of various complexity. Okay, what if you have a square root of x plus 3, and that's equal to 2. Well, the first thing I should look at is I should say, okay, here's a square root, and I need to somehow solve for x. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of the square root. So how do I do that? Well, I square both sides. Because a square gets rid of a square root, and I've got to square both sides in order to make it legal because it I can do anything I want to both to, to, to this equation as long as I do it to both sides. Okay? On the left hand side, I'm just going to be left with x plus 3 because this square, you know, if you want to make it kind of easy to remember, you can think of this square kind of cancels with the square root like that, so they just both disappear. Okay? Um, and that's going to be equal to 2 squared, which is 4. And then uh, in order to get x by itself, I just subtract 3 from both sides. And so then I've got 4 minus 3, so x is just equal to 1. Okay, And that's the answer to that guy.